Welcome to First Chapter Friday. This week's book is featured on our reading challenge for 2022, A Fat Positive Romance. It's called Eat Your Heart Out by Kelly DeVos. And as our author states, we picked this challenge because when you create a culture where people can be dehumanized for trivial reasons like body size, everyone's human dignity is in jeopardy. Let's get started. Chapter one. What role are you auditioning for today? Action girl, also known as final girl or resourceful heroine. Odds of survival, 100%. Action, action girl is who we all want to be. That fearless butt kicker, who we all are, imagine ourselves to be. We need our Clara Starlings or Ellen Ripley's. Action girl will survive. She has to. Next up is the basket case. Odds of survival, 0%. The girl who cries too much or screams too much or feels too much or falls apart too much. The cheerleader, the social media star, sometimes the main character's best friend. Secretly, the audience is wondering, will this chick die already? The group is typically better off without her. The courageous captain. Odds of survival, 0%. He's the guy who can somehow get everyone to cooperate. He leads everyone to safety, but everything comes at a price. The captain always goes down with the ship. The jock. Odds of survival, 50 to 75%. This one could go either way. Jocks can be major jerks. If the jock makes too many boob jokes, expect him to get his head ripped off. The jock with a heart of gold, however, has a decent shot. He's easy to like and to root for. He might make it. The jerk, odds of survival, 10%. Everyone loves seeing jerks get what they deserve. The jerk will only survive if he undergoes a huge character transformation or if he's portrayed by a big time A-list actor. The nerd. Odds of survival, 50%. Let's face it, nerds have essential abilities. They hack computers and read maps and pick locks. Every team needs a nerd. But nerds might bite it if they're no longer needed, or if they're especially likable and their death would tug at the heartstrings. Last up, the outcast. Odds of survival, unknown. The dark horse, the unpredictable loner, the bookish weirdo, the kid no one knows or understands. Outcasts keep their skills hidden. Their power is that you don't know what they know. They might have the skills to survive. In the next few hours, one of three things will happen. One, we'll be rescued, which is unlikely. Two, we'll freeze to death, which is a maybe. Three, we'll be eaten by thin and athletic zombies. Odds, excellent. I guess it's possible that there will be some kind of miracle, but if a divine intervention was forthcoming, you'd think it would have happened already. All but five of us are either dead or down below in the mindless flesh-eating horde. Oh yeah, and the pregnant girl's about to give birth, so there's that. I'm not even sure I deserve to live. Allie is dead. Because of me. How did I get here? How did we end up trapped on the roof of Dr. Frankenstein's creepy laboratory at Camp Featherlight for overweight teens during the worst snowstorm in Flagstaff, Arizona has seen in a hundred years? I keep thinking about my mom in those four little words. Sweetheart, I'm getting married. Check out Eat Your Heart Out at the Foster Library and enter to win the um, prizes for the reading challenge of 2022.